everyone, my name's Alette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. Today I'm propagating mint. Now mint can be quite invasive and you're probably wondering why I want to propagate it, but there are a couple of reasons. Firstly, I grow mine in pots so that it can't spread too much and I want more than one plant, but also I found something called chocolate mint this year and it really does smell like, you know, mint chocolate chip ice cream or after eights if you're from the UK and it smells wonderful and I really want to be able to give this as gifts to family and friends because I think they'd enjoy it too and it's just a bit of fun. So um, what I'm doing is taking cuttings and then rooting them and potting them on and I'm just going to show you the process. It's quite simple, this isn't going to be a very long video but this is something really easy and so you can do this with your kids um, very safely and very easily and they can watch roots grow which I also think is just fun. I mean I like to do it. So I'm just going to talk through the process of how I took the cuttings and what I did with them and what I'm doing with them now. When you're taking cuttings make sure that you have some water to put your cuttings into really quickly um, and when you take your cuttings it's also really useful if you can take your cutting just above when you're taking it off the plant Imagine this is the plant when you're taking it off the plant. If you take your cutting just above where the leaves, leaves come out, just here, then your plant will be able to regenerate. So it will grow new shoots from these tiny little leaf buds here. So we always tend to take our cuttings from just above a leaf node. And then what I do to root my cuttings is I'm going to just peel these leaves off here. You can pinch them off with your fingers. Just take them off and then what will happen is when you root your cutting in water which is what I'm doing it's going to grow roots from where the leaves were so from the leaf node leaf nodes that's where the roots will grow so I tend to take off quite a bit of the greenery from the top and then just leave it like that and then I put that into the water here. I tend to use a clear glass vase so the reason I use a clear one is because it's so much fun to watch the roots grow it's just easier that way but you could definitely use any container you like the roots will grow I've never tried growing roots in something that isn't glass I just always use a glass and I either use one of my little vases like this or a drinking glass and then this is all I do so after a few weeks of having your cuttings in water like this what you'll end up with is cuttings like this that have rooted and this is what I mean by being able to see the roots grow on your cuttings and I wouldn't use anything that's got a really narrow top to it because when your cuttings root you don't want to drag them out of like a really small hole at the top so you want it to be quite wide Oop, these are just blowing in the wind so you want to also make sure that they balance on the top I'll sort that out when I go inside but it's a bit windy so they're just blowing you don't really want the leaves to be in the water when they get to this stage this is the time to pot them up and it's just such a simple process so I've just got some little pots here and I'm going to put a little bit of compost this is just ordinary peat-free potting compost I'm putting a little bit in the bottom of each one and then I just take my cutting like this and fill the container up with more. So I'll do another one. water these in and then put them in a protected spot. Once your mint cuttings have rooted in a little bit those little um, tiny little baby leaf buds are going to turn into shoots and if you want to bulk your plant up it's really easy just to pinch out the top of each of those shoots uh, once they've got a couple of sets of leaves on them and then your plant is just going to bulk up really easily. You'll also find that your mint will start um, creating little runners underneath the compost 
underneath the soil and it will bulk up that way as well so it's not always just going to be you know one little stick sticking out of the pot so I've been keeping my cuttings on the kitchen windowsill well in fact I haven't I've been keeping mine on the kitchen counter because that's out of direct sunlight but it's very bright in the kitchen so you don't want them sitting in direct sunlight all day long because they're just going to wilt just like any flower would or any plant would um, it doesn't have any roots so it's harder for it to take up water so if they are best um, kept out of direct sunlight but in somewhere nice and bright and somewhere that's protected so I wouldn't leave them outside while they're trying to root I'd keep them inside but as soon as they've rooted like these have I'm just going to bring them on in my cold frame for a week or two and then I'll be able to plant them outside or give them as gifts which is what I'm hoping to do or what I'm intending to do. So it really is that simple to propagate your mint and there are many other plants that you can propagate this way and salvias are definitely one of them. Um, hydrangeas are another that I've done this way. Um, I believe you can do lavender um, in, with the same method of just, you know, rooting things in water and it really is trial and error. Oh, the other thing that I root every year this way are my sedums. So th that's another thing, you know, when you do your Chelsea Chop in May, you can um, take those cuttings and just put them in water and they're going to root really quickly and then you can just plant them out the same way and increase your supply, your stock <laughs> of of plants. It's a really, really obviously cheap way to make more plants and I think that's important for us to all be able to economise and I love doing it because it's so much fun watching the roots grow. If you've enjoyed this video then do give it a like because it really helps me and it tells YouTube to show my video to more people who may also enjoy it and find it useful and this applies to you know all the videos that you watch on YouTube and if you're enjoying my videos then please do think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet because that also really helps me and I'd love to have you along. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.